Row reboot is just over a month away from release, and today IGN has your first look at several of the criminal ventures you'll be able to undertake as you look to become the crime boss of Santo Ilezo, including the return of series favorite, Insurance Fraud. Volition lead producer Roger Smith answered my questions about all the new activities, so I'll mix in what he told me as well. For instance, Smith told me that this time around, quote, criminal ventures allow the player to choose which venture they'd like to pursue and where they would like to place it. It allows the player to have control over how they'd like to take over the city and how they'd like for it to look. Some players may find that placing a venture within a certain district gives them a distinct advantage depending on its associated activity. Some may find they simply prefer how a venture looks within a certain district, end quote. I also learned that each completed venture generates passive income for you, which you'll need because later ventures get a lot more expensive. Also, when you complete them, you'll learn venture-specific allies to guard each spot if trouble comes to town. Let's take a look at a few specific criminal ventures. My favorite Saints Row activity of all time is back. Yes, insurance fraud. For the Saints Row reboot, Volition has added an adrenaline mode, which Smith explains triggers after you build up your adrenaline meter. Smith explains saying, quote, once the adrenaline is full, the player enters adrenaline mode. This is where colliding with an oncoming vehicle results in it literally blowing up. The meter starts to run out quickly, but the player can keep adrenaline mode going if they continue to rack up the combos, end quote. And as you can see here, it looks as fun as ever. Say hello to Toxic Disposals. The aforementioned Roger Smith from the Saints Row development team told me that this activity can get very stressful very quickly. Here's how he explained it. Quote, There isn't any initial pressure since the player never receives an explicit timer. However, there can be a lot of traffic and lunatic drivers mixed in with it. You never know what some of the knucklehead motorists of Santo Ilezo might do in a moment of panic or impatience. Additionally, the stability of the toxic waste barrels is extremely volatile. Therefore, even if you bump into something inconsequential, it can cause one of the barrels to explode and start spilling waste. Once that happens, the pressure is on to get to the drop-off with the gas pedal floored. Even if you slow down by one mile per hour, it'll cause the volatility of the barrels to increase and leading you to losing more of your load." End quote. Sounds like it should lead to some very chaotic gameplay moments. There, boss. Those orders keep rolling in. I'll update the map with all the new locations. Is it safe to have all that toxic waste just out there in the city? Oh, no, not at all. That stuff can turn people into radioactive homicidal maniacs. Be careful out there. What happens when radiation and people mix in Saints Row? This. Smith told me that you won't see any mutants or crazy beasts, but that radiated bad guys will act quite a bit more aggressively than the ones who don't make your Geiger counter freak out. They're also a lot tougher to boot. The fuck is in those barrels? Better step on it then. I'm on my way.
clearly the food truck activities are going to be the gameplay equivalent of having your hand in a pot of water that slowly starts to boil. Things will heat up. I asked Smith just how high the temperature will get and he said, quote, it gets intense in terms of the number of enemies you fight, especially when you get to the final phase of each pursuit. However, it doesn't ramp up to the point of tanks coming after you. The food truck is durable, but not exactly Brink's truck durable. All the traffic in town moves through four trucks. Weenie, Twisty, Sammy, and the King. Nothing a few rockets and a Molotov can't fix. True. Or we could steal each truck and all its product and put it to work for us. Even better. Where do these guys roll? I've got Jimmy following the King right now. I'll put you in touch. Hey, it's Jimmy, right? Yeah. Good to see you, boss. What's the King moving today? Lower dust. They just re-upped, so the truck's full. You see any muscle? Maybe a dozen guys, a few cars. I'll take it from here. Go see if Chewie needs help. Here we go. Driving home with the king. Oh, yeah. That's Lakeshore money. All those bankers and brokers are gonna make us rich. Another one down. Okay, boss. Bring in the king and finish his crew. We gotta lock this place down tight. customize your ride, and if you see a car out there with something you like, bring it on in. Now that we're in business, let's talk shop. Hey JR, if we're short on parts, why don't we just steal them? We could run a little chop shop here. Now that would save us a pretty penny. I need some parts for a hammerhead. How about you get me one of those? First, Jim Robs is officially my favorite name for any of the fake businesses in Saints Row. Second, we've got a wingsuit. Smith assured me that it's available from the very moment the player is in the open world and that, quote, there will be different wingsuit skins that the player can purchase and or earn, end quote. So there you have it, your first good look at four of the criminal ventures available to you in Saints Row. We've got a lot more to show you about this game ahead of its August 23 release date, including our extensive hands-on preview coming to IGN next week. Jim Robs. Hey, JR. I got you a hammer. All right. Just leave it there on the side. What else do you need? The idols have an off-road buggy they call the Desert Devil. Can you get that for me? I've seen them riding northeast of town around the mesas. If it's out there, I'll find it. 